In this video lesson, we are going to learn how to solve one-step equations. So let's go. Oh, you should take some notes. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Okay, so how to solve equations. You want to isolate the variable by performing the inverse operation. So looking at this beautiful, adorable table, okay, we'll talk about the operations and the inverse. So addition, the inverse of addition is subtraction. So vice versa, the inverse of subtraction is addition. The inverse of multiplication is division and vice versa, the inverse of division is multiplication. This skill will follow you all the way to calculus, right? Like you're gonna learn inverse operations of exponents. Those are radicals. There's inverse operations of trig functions, you know, inverse trig functions, you know. Um, the inverse of a log is to exponentiate. Like this is going to be forever. So let's get comfortable. Anyway, so solve the equation, negative one plus r equals four. What we need to do is we need to get rid of that negative one. Well, it's being subtracted, so how do I get rid of subtraction? Add. If I do it on one side of an equation, I have to do it on the other to keep it balanced, okay? So I'm gonna get r equals five. On the other side, example number two, I have n minus six equals negative 14. So what I'm gonna do is I need to get rid of that negative six, because remember, we want the variable to be alone. We want it to be lonely, isolated. Isolation means alone. So what we gonna do? Add six to both sides. I added because that six was being subtracted, and to get rid of subtraction, I do addition. So I'm gonna get n equals eight. Now, the other way to think about these problems is if I have n minus 6 equals negative 14, I can ask myself, like, what does n equal? What do I have to subtract 6 by to get negative 14? And a lot of you are good at mental math like that, so this will be easy for you. So example number 3, I have negative 12 equals x minus 5. Again, we want to get x by itself. So looking on that side of the equal sign, what is that? It's a negative 5. How do I get rid of a negative 5? Adding 5 to both sides. Yes, so negative 12 plus 5 is going to give me negative 7. Negative 7. <laughs> um, if I rearrange that, it's x equals negative 7. We like that better sometimes. So then I have n plus 9 equals 9. And I need to get rid of that 9 next to the n, right? It's a plus 9. So how do I get rid of that? We subtract 9. Very good. So n equals 0. Oh, no, the answer is 0. Is that right? Yes, it is. 0 can be an answer. 0 is a number 2. <laughs> OK, let it get some play. Um, 8 equals n minus 6. So what we're going to do? You should try these on your own, honestly. So do these two by yourself. And I'll sing. Do, 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 do. Okay. You should be good. So we should have added six to both sides, and we should get fourteen equals n, and then for the other one or n equals 14, and then for the other one, we should, we should have subtracted 3 for both sides, so we should get v equals 6. Did you get those right? Yes! Scholar status! Okay, so now we have one-step equations that involve multiplication. How do we get rid of multiplication? Division! Yes! Smarticle particles. So divide by 3, divide by 3, n equals 1. So on the other side, I need to get rid of a negative 4, and it's touching the n by multiplication. So what do I do? Divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4, n equals 16 divided by negative 4 is negative 4. All right. 
same thing. Divide by negative 15, divide by negative 16. I'm going to get negative 2 equals P, or P equals negative 2. On the other side, I have 5x equals 0. What am I going to divide by? 5 on both sides. X equals 0. Yes, 0 can be an answer. 0 divided by 5 is 0. That is okay. And now we have division problems, so m over 5. How do I get rid of division? I multiply. So we're going to multiply by 5. m equals negative 25. Do that last one by yourself. I'm going to sing. Do, 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 um, what do I usually say? Go back through the video. See if you could do the problems by yourself without my help. And I will see you back in the next one. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell somebody. Bye.